YPWW will hold a session this evening at 5 in the sanctuary. The focus for Lesson 6 will be Listen to Leaders from Deuteronomy 1, 18 through 21. Evangelist Eloise Smith will be teaching. All roads lead to the State Temple this week for the 95th Ministers and Workers Conference of the Greater North Carolina Jurisdiction. The schedule of events is as follows. Monday at 8 p.m., we will be honoring the jurisdictional First Lady Sheila Woolard. The guest speaker will be Bishop Gerald O. Glenn of New Deliverance Evangelistic Church in North Chesterfield, Virginia. Tuesday through Friday in the mornings will consist of intercessory prayer at 10 a.m., followed by call to worship at 11 a.m. Tuesday and Wednesday evening from 6.30 to 7.30, Attorney Yvonne Watford McKinney will speak from the topics same-sex laws and legal ramifications. Wednesday evening at 8, our very own Bishop Patrick L. Wooden Sr. will be speaking, so please come out and show your support. Thursday morning at 11 will consist of the annual Women's Day service. Later that evening from 6.30 to 8.30, the annual Women's Day service will honor Supervisor Harazine Keys. Thursday evening will also feature the official night service for the jurisdictional prelate, Bishop Leroy Jackson Willard at 8.30 with the General Conference in charge. Attention all Greater North Carolina Kojic High School seniors. The Greater North Carolina Jurisdictional Youth Department is accepting scholarship applications now through April 30th. For consideration, you must have a minimum 2.7 weighted GPA. To apply and receive more details, visit the website gncjyouthdept.org. Do you have a passion to witness about the love of Jesus? Do you possess the drive to win lost souls to Christ? If your answer is yes, we have an opportunity you do not want to miss. Join the Evangelism Department Saturday, April 30th at 1 p.m. for the Citywide Evangelism Outreach. Church vans will depart at 2 p.m. and return no later than 4 p.m. Your help is needed as we continue to push back against the devil and win lost souls. District Missionary Margaret L. Mose wishes to thank everyone for your prayers and support during last week's first consecration union of the Greater Central District. Calling all men, the Men Perfecting Men National Men's Conference will be held May 11th through the 13th in Greensboro, North Carolina. Wednesday night, May 11th, our very own leader, Bishop Patrick L. Wooden Sr. will bring forth the Word of God. All men of God are asked to attend in big numbers to show support. Let the leader of Upper Room know you are in his corner. Services will begin nightly at 7.30. The Exceptional Ministry will host the inaugural Mother and Son Luncheon Saturday, May 21st at noon in the Fellowship Hall. All mothers and sons from young to young at heart are invited to attend. There will be a special guest speaker, Mother Gwendolyn Ellison, along with games, food, and prizes. It's an exciting time in Upper Room and our media team is growing. If you would like to work in video production for our weekly services, please visit the production room after service to sign up. Also, our bookstore is full of biblical literature, CDs, DVDs, snacks, and beverages to quench your thirst. The bookstore is located in the vestibule of the main entrance and open before and after all services. It must be miserable living with somebody who likes you but don't accept you. Anybody glad that God not only adopts you, but God accepts you. You may have a limb, but he accepts you. You may not have the highest IQ, but he accepts you. You may be 95 years old, but he accepts you. You may be like Jeremiah, just but a child, but he accepts you. You may be a Caucasian from the Appalachians, but he accepts you. You may be an African from the Congo, but he accepts you. I'm so glad that he accepts me. I'm
from the prophesied in Raleigh, North Carolina, and let you know that God is raising up a generation to replace all the wickedness. God is raising up a generation to replace the perversion. God is raising up a generation of believers that say, for God, I live. For God, I'll die. And that's the first thing the church needs to start praying for again. Pray for boldness to come against what's coming against us. To stand in the face of adversity and let the devil know I'm not going anywhere. Look your circumstance in the face that comes to tell you one thing and you have a boldness on the inside that says, I don't care what you say. I'm going to pray until the foundation is shaken. I'm going to pray until the sickness is removed. I'm going to pray until my deliverance comes. I'm going to pray until my finances break through. You see, people of God, Satan doesn't want you to hear what I'm saying to you because if you get what I'm saying, he's in trouble. I came to tell somebody uh, that this is your time uh, to get everything uh, that the devil stole from you. Uh, this is your time uh, to reclaim the years uh, that the canker worm uh, and the locust has devoured. Uh, I dare somebody uh, to reach back and say, uh, I'm grabbing my joy. I'm grabbing my peace. I'm grabbing my power. Come in power. Come in victory. Come in joy. This joy that I have, the world can give it, and the world can't take it away. Stop all that protesting. Stop all that saying God's not doing you right. Stop that why me. You better learn how to tell the Lord. Lord, I thank you. And if it's your will, for me to go through this, I'll just go through. If it's my time to suffer, Lord, take me through. If it's my time for rejection, Lord, see me through. Because I know that when the time is right, if I just don't get weary,